everybody, it's Rock'em Sakura from season 12 C's of RuPaul's Drag Race. Today I'm gonna show you how to recreate my tool runway, which is a beautiful pastel unicorn fantasy. It's gonna be super easy. You're gonna see me go from this to this. Oh. Whenever I do my makeup, I like to make sure I take off all my clothes. I make sure to get ready butt ass naked, so we're gonna take off our clothes right now. Use a disappearing purple glue stick. Just go ahead and start against the grain. Brush upwards. Since my makeup is so big, I also glue down my sideburns. Big scrubbing circles. <laughs> and a good cry always helps before you put on your makeup too. You wanna take your translucent powder and hit your brows hard. Don't move it around once you're packing that dust on there because you're gonna get oatmeal brows. There. I'm going to put foundation over my whole face and also my boobus area. I have a shadow, a mid-tone, and a highlight. I think that three is the perfect number to get like a good gradation. You can fine tune with your powders later. And once it's all on there, we're gonna go ahead and take our beautiful Gay Beauty Blender and we're just going to beat that in. So I get to the neck, I just swipe it downwards because when you do this, it kind of feels like someone's punching you in the throat. So I'm gonna take my brow pencil and I'm going to sketch out my eyeliner first. And this is gonna take up a fair amount of your face. Oh, that's too big. We're gonna do that again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... And remember, this is like complete anime fantasy face, so just make sure that you go over the top, you go big. If you wanted a refined and clean version of this, you wanna look pretty, do a Trixie Mattel tutorial. If you wanna look like Kim Chi, if she had a lot less talent and was a lot more bloated, watch my tutorial. And now that you look utterly terrifying, we're gonna use like this really, 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 really dark contour shade. And I'm gonna do a little rainbow up here. I like to make sure that whenever I do my makeup, it's really geometric. I like to have very exaggerated looking lines. I'll do a lot of contour right here, just in the center of the nose. We're gonna blend it out in a second. Don't worry. So now that I got the contour on, we're gonna go ahead and blend that. For the cheeks, I like to keep that hard line, but I'll blend it upwards. There we go. And now it's time to refine everything with our highlight. And if you can't get your container open, just use your teeth because they don't look good anyway. I like to take a small concealer brush and just refine the lines that we were making before. And what I'm doing right here is I'm silhouetting the nose. I'm making like a nice triangle shape right here with the contour. Once everything's on, make sure that you take your beauty blender and let's just refine that again. Ugh, and you can already see the woman coming through. I'm a woman! She's coming through and she's coming through hard. So what had happened was I was getting ready for drag race and my boyfriend was helping me pack. Here's the thing, ladies. If you ask your boyfriend to pack and they're nice enough to pack for you, you're not being a bitch if you want to double check. Because what happened was my tool outfit was so big that we had to switch suitcases and all of my makeup got left behind at home. So I only had about 25% of my normal makeup on set. But, you know, a queen makes it work every time. So the next step right now is we're gonna take our mid-tone and we're gonna refine all the things that need mid-tone. When I first started going out in drag, a queen had come up to me and went, wow, you look gorgeous, you're so pretty. It must be so easy because you're Asian. You already look like a woman. And I, I was like, Excuse you, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I'm not trying hard. So I wanted people to know how hard I was trying with my makeup. So as the years went by, my eyes got bigger and bigger and bigger. And my self-worth went lower and lower and lower. 
Let's go ahead and set this down with powder. I'll take one of these like art brushes that you can get from the dollar store and just press it into these angles that you created. The more you let it sit, the more it's gonna bake into your skin. Now that I've finished with my highlight powder, I'm gonna go in with my mid-tone powder. We can just put this pretty much all over the face. I deserve this. And we're done. This was my makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on VH1. Make sure that you swipe up and, okay, brush it off. Now we can go in with our contour. Take a nice, big, fluffy brush and just go in there. And then I'll go back in with the darkest shade and I'll bring it right here, just on the end to create the illusion of depth. This side turned out a lot better than this side. Sponge again. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and contour the chin. Just a nice rounded brush on the chin. Make yourself really look like a thumb. See? Now we're gonna go ahead and add some blush to that. I'm gonna take three shades, mix them together, and I'm gonna get right here on my rosy cheek here on the nose, right where we did our contour before. I'll take the deepest and the reddest shades, and I'll go right here. Whatever is residual on that brush, and just add it into the rest of the contour. A small bit of blush is gonna really pop and add some color to your face. Let's get in on that nose. So, take your darkest powder, right here into the corner, at the top of the nose, and here again, near the tip at the bottom. So once I have my darkest shades on, I'm gonna go ahead and add my favorite color, white. <laughs> I use a cream foundation when I do my white. Just review it, look at your face as a whole and see if the silhouette kind of matches. Take a very, very super white powder. When I first started doing drag, I used baby powder to set all of my white. And besides smelling like a baby's butt, I'm sure there is lots of health risks. Blend that in with some regular powder. Now we're gonna refine it one more time. And I like to get it nice and skinny at the very, very end. While that's still wet, I'm gonna go in with a liquid white. A liquid eyeliner is more concentrated. Mid-tone powder. Now we're gonna go back in and deepen the contours again when we add our final dot that goes here. It's gonna look like it's popping a bit more. I want things to look like they're super sharp. Like about to catch you, catch you. Last part, take that same white liner. Just do a little dot on your nose. Next level of nose contour, get it now. Mm. So what we're gonna do with our boobs today is we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with our nose. We're gonna put white and our highest highlights right here in the middle, and then we're gonna cut it with our boob shape. This middle part right here can be relatively lazy. Get on there, oh my god. Cream white. I know some people have a hard time um, placing their boobs, and trust me, we've all been there. I've had a boob here, I've had boobs here, I've had boobs down here, I've had boobs on my shoulder. Don't ask about that one. We're gonna go ahead and set the middle of this with our whitest white. And then on both sides, the top and the bottom, we're gonna wanna gradiate out with our lighter color and then dust it off. And I'm gonna just trace a circle. We're gonna take our mid-tone, we're gonna do a circle right here where the light would hit, right here. And then you wanna blend it in. Put the white in the highlight where I want it the highlightiest. And then I'm gonna set the rest of the boob with this mid-tone powder. Brush it off. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna deepen that contour on the boob area with a nice little angled shadow brush. And then, you can gradiate it out with a bigger brush. And you're all good.
I wanted to do a rainbow eyeshadow look because I couldn't figure out what one color to use on the whole outfit. I was just like, rainbow is my favorite color anyway. Why not just use all the colors? Why not just use every color? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little cream palette that is gross and dirty. Don't you dare zoom in on this palette. <laughs> We're gonna put a base down of all these different colors. Just press it on there. In between your colors, clean off your brush just a little bit, but not too much. If you leave a little bit of the product on it, it's gonna help radiate the color. A little bit of that green in there. It don't have to be in the same place. And we're using the blocking that we did earlier when we did the eyebrow pencil. We're just creating a sticky base for our shadows later. Then once all your colors are on, I'm gonna set that with my white. So you can kind of barely see the colors, but you know where the colors are. And with a light, light, light touch, ah! place it on your face. My makeup aesthetic is generally very manga inspired, very graphic, but also pastel, light, airy witchy, ethereal. I have so many outfits that look like cakes and sweet rolls. We're gonna use that same white that we did before and we're going to trace that line that we had before. Press, stamp. Stamp, 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 stamp. stamp. All right, whoop, whoop. Set that with the white liner. It's really, really, really black and you don't wanna mess up. Put a fair amount of product just on the edge of the brush. And then, we're gonna follow that line that we did before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna outline the shape first. We're gonna follow that curve we created. And once you've got it all lined out, you just fill it in. Oh, it looks so good! I'm so happy! Thank God I did not mess up on camera! <laughs> When I was getting ready to like audition for the show and everything, I had heard rumors that they had literally 25 minutes to paint their whole face, which I now know is a lie. But I was like, oh, they only give you 25 minutes? I gotta learn how to paint in 25 minutes. So this makeup that you're seeing right now, I can actually do relatively fast. Same white foundation. Oh, just moan a little bit when you do this white part, because this is your favorite part. Once you got your shape, you're gonna go ahead and take a nice dome brush. What I like to do is I put it in the shadow and because it's round, it goes into the contours in my face. I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm so sorry everyone at home. We're gonna do the same shadow on top underneath. I'm just gonna go in with the shadows. I'm gonna have a very, very light, 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 light touch. With this color, I'm gonna refine this bottom edge right here and make it look more linear. Ugh, I love this. Perfect. I'm going to extend our liner from the top just a little bit into here. So about halfway through is when I stop the black. I'm gonna take this small little brush that we were using for the shadows earlier and blend that shadow down. Do you feel like a trash fire with makeup on? We're actually gonna go on to our next step, which is kinda eyebrows. I always tell people that I have eyebrows, but they're underneath my wig. We can imply that there is some sort of brow there. I'm gonna take that same white that we had before, and just like if I had a normal brow, I'm gonna highlight underneath it. I'm gonna use my finger to blend this down. Just like with everything, we're gonna set it with that white powder. Next thing we're gonna do, now that we're done with our eyes, is our lips, our beautiful lips. We're gonna sketch that same shape that we did earlier. I'm looking for a nice balance between the eyes and the lip. I like to do a little clown flick up here, make it a little bit more full. I like to do a cross right here, because it makes it more even for me. If you don't need to do the cross and you could do it all freehand by yourself, off because it's my tutorial and I need this. I need this. Now that we're all mapped out, let's do the highlight over the top of the lip. White cream again. Set that again with white. 
All right, everything is lined. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my eyeliner in from the sides. These shadows here just on the corners are gonna make it look like my lips right here on this side are pushed back. Get in there with your finger. Go ahead and put our base lipstick on. I wanna go for a nice bright pink over here to kind of contrast with the very, very matte, toned down pastel look up here. And I actually love to do shadows in place of actual lipstick or gloss because sticky lips always get caught in your hair. You're trying to lip sync. I've set the base foundation now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken up the sides again, but with powder. One more time, I'm gonna go in with that liner, redefine it. Okay, now I'm highlighting my lip. And what I'm doing is I'm taking white and I'm hugging that liner up top, just lightly feathering it out. Blend it out. We're basically just creating a base for the next step, which is, say it with me folks, set it with white. And now we're gonna go back in and introduce those colors again. I chose the right career. And I'm just going to gradiate it into the darker points on my face. We're gonna clean it up. I take some colors and I put them on the brush, just at the top of my cheeks right over here. And I also like to contour right where I put that white earlier. Medical grade adhesive, they use this for surgeries. Take the end of your brush, take a little bit of that glue, and you're gonna wanna dab where you want your rhinestones. One, two, three. The cream dries really fast. I'm gonna place them on there. I wish I could love myself as much as I love these stones on my face. Now we're gonna add our last ones. And if you're like me and you're a kicking and bucking girl, you probably hate when your earrings get caught in your hair. So you can always do what I do. On here, a little bit of the cream. Boom. Now we're gonna add some more glitter. I'll take a holographic glitter sometimes. I'll take some on my middle finger and I'll just press it into the face like that. Add some to the whites of your boobs. I also like to use glitter paste because it's super easy to put on. Now I'm just gonna put that around the perimeter of my eye. Now we're gonna put this also on our chest. I'm also gonna put some right up here. Yes, it's coming together! Once I get the glitter on, it is over. The rest of you guys in this room are gonna die because I'm so fabulous. I'm taking a chunkier glitter now. All right, add some to your chest. Now it's time for eyelashes. I don't have enough money to spend on getting these bottom lashes. So what do we do? We make our own lashes. All you need is some construction paper and some scissors. And that little triangle that we just created, we're gonna cut that in half. Some of that cream from before on your black. Now it's time for these big daddy lashes. Now I made these myself. They're eight pairs of eyelashes stacked together and I've added more construction paper just glued onto the back with some weave bond, which is what we're gonna use to adhere it to our eyes. And then I placed rhinestones on the lashes just for that extra fantasy. This stuff takes literally 20 seconds to dry. I'll place it right here into the socket of my eye and then I'll pull the front forward just a tiny bit like this. So just this part is touching my lash and up here is in my socket. Remember that hair dryer from earlier? Here she is again. I'm not even relatively close to my eye, like full on, this is like a different zip code. So what I like to do for my under eye is I'll take a nice eye cream pencil, one that's specifically for an eye. And with that, the face is done. I'm gonna get my final look on and I will be right back. <laughs> you guys, this is my tool runway look. I love this because not only am I living my full ethereal fantasy, I'm also in a garment that me and my friends made together and I look like a unicorn sharded all over the place. 
If you learned something from this video, you can dress up as Sakura or you can come up with your own version of you that makes you happy and you want to show me. Subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel so you don't miss any of RuPaul's Drag Race.